So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen input function in Python. We have seen print function and input function. And we have also seen some coding exercise on those functions, like how to use those functions and all. Now, the next topic is variables. What are variables in Python? How to use variables? Why we use variables? And all this thing we'll see in this video. Okay, what is need of variable? That is very important. So now let's see. We'll start from this question. Why we need actually variables? See, if I write something like this. See, if I write this input, what is your name? Means I'm asking from the user, what is your name? So it would be prompted on your screen, what is your name? And then we will, whenever you run this, then we will enter our name like suppose I'm entering Jenny and just hit enter button. Now that's it. So see, okay, now this, this uh, Jenny, this name would be here. This line would be replaced by this Jenny, not actually, but virtually, like behind the scene it is happening. But we are not storing this Jenny anywhere means further in our, in our program we cannot use this name jenny name because we haven't stored this name anywhere okay suppose uh, i have some water okay now i am pouring that water like this now it is spilled on the floor now if i store that water in another glass then i can use that water again okay so for that, I have to take another container. Suppose from a tap, we have opened the tap and water is, you know, spilling out on the floor. If you use a bucket to store that water, then we can use that water in future. Same, in a container, we are storing that thing. Same thing here also, this Jenny means it's nowhere now. We cannot use this Jenny name anywhere in your program. So, if I want to store that value, I need a containers. Means uh, in real life, we need some container. In programming, we need variables. So, variables are nothing but containers to store some values. Values can be anything here. An integer value like 1, 2, 3 numbers or strings or list or much more. That also we'll see one by one. But variables are just container to store some values in python okay now there is no need to declare any variable in python before its use like in c we declare like in c and c plus plus there in the programming language we have to declare like if you want to take an integer variable then int a before using we have to tell the compiler like this is the name of the variable this is data type of this variable <clears throat> but here in python we don't need to declare any variable before it's used. We don't need to tell any data type of the variable. Nothing we have to tell. What you need to do? <clears throat> you just write down the name of the variable. Okay. The variable would be created. You know, at the time, the moment you first assign some value to that variable. That's it. So, suppose I want to store this name, this Jenny, this value somewhere in the variable. What you need to do? Before this, you just write down the name of any variable. Any name you can take, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, anything. But better to use a meaningful name. Means I am storing a name, so better to use a meaningful name according to that. So name of the variable I am taking, name, name equal to this. Now at this point of time, whenever you enter Jenny, when you run this program and hit enter button, then this name this line would be replaced with Jenny and this Jenny would be stored in this variable name. So now you can simply print this print and you can in print you can simply write down the name of the variable. So it will give the result what Jenny. Like you can take example uh, in your phone book in your diary you are writing phone numbers. You are simply writing phone numbers. No you are not writing any name for those phone numbers. So in future it would be very difficult for you to find out whose phone number is this. Okay, we cannot retrieve that thing you have, if you have a list of phone numbers. Fine. Same if I write any name, we write name associated to a phone number. Suppose I am writing, in my book I am writing like Jenny and the phone number I am writing here. Right, something like this. So now in future we can use this, this number, this phone number. We can call this with the help of this Jenny. We can identify like this is Jenny's phone number. Same if you use this thing in programming we use equal to 
uh, sorry this assignment operator so this jenny equal to this number so jenny is considered as a variable name in programming jenny equal to i am assigning a phone number that's it now further if you want to refer this you can simply use you can simply call jenny okay so just a the variables are just containers to store some data values nothing else same if i write any variable for example you can take a variable number a is equal to 1 you can use b is equal to jenny or b equal to i am writing like uh, pi l it is a string string you can put in double quote or single quote your wish see i am not telling any data type like it is of integer type it is of string type or float type nothing else okay so no need to tell whenever you you know the variable this variable would be created the moment we assign first assign value to this that's it and now simply you can print print a it will print one if i print print b it will print pile yeah further we'll see how to typecast these things like from int to float or further we'll see more you know uh, thing about these data types and variables but for this video you have to you know know the basics of what is variable how to create variable how to assign values how to use this these variables fine now as the name suggests variables variables means values can vary you can change the values of the variable these are not fixed at one time suppose i have assigned a value name is equal to input what is your name and then name or suppose uh, i'm writing here something like this i'm writing i'm taking a variable name name is equal to jenny and then I am printing print name. So it will print Jenny. Again, I am writing name is equal to <coughs> Jia. And again, I am printing print name. So see, I am taking same variable name, but this the output would be Jenny and Jia. This time it is printing Jenny, this time it is printing Jia. So we can change the values of these variables. Name is only variables, values can vary okay so i hope you got what is variable why we need variables and how to use variables in python programming now one exercise for you is uh, this is the case first it will ask what is your name then you will enter a name and it will print the length of that name suppose i am entering jenny so the length is j e double n y five characters are there so it will print five okay pause the video and do this now hint is how to calculate length of the string we have a uh, inbuilt function that is len len this and whatever name or the string for the for which you want to find out the length you can put that thing here okay we'll see more functions and strings in later videos but for now this is the hint so let's pause the video and try this out so i hope you have done this see we'll ask will uh, use input function what is your name and whatever you will enter we will store that thing here in the name variable okay now len is a function to find out length of the string so in len i am you have to pass this variable name name you can pass so whatever it will return that also you can store in another variable a variable name you can take anything abc xyz anything but better to take meaningful variable name so i am taking length and finally you can print length so what would be the output first when you whenever you run this what would be prompted the message on the screen what is your name what is your name this would be printed and suppose i am entering jenny and hit enter button then what is behind the scene process this jenny is here now so now the jenny would be assigned to this variable name in this name we have jenny so in length i am passing name means jenny i am passing so it will calculate the length that is one two three four five five now this five would be assigned to this variable length and i am printing this length this variable so what would be printed five so let's create a new file right click on this then new file and uh, variable in python dot py okay now what we will see you will take a variable the variable name i am taking name is equal to input 
what is your name okay and we will print now at this time name fine now let's run this it is asking what is your name and i am entering here jenny click enter and it will print jen the jenny has been stored in this variable name name now see rather than rather than this now i can take again i am taking name equal to suppose i am taking here uh, jia and again i am printing print name let's run this again and see so first it will ask what is your name i am entering jenny so first it will print jenny then it will print jia because at first time the value in the name variable is what jenny now we have changed this uh, value in this variable that is jia so this point of time in name we have jia so it will print jia okay now how to find out length what you can see we can use a length variable name or any variable name you can take l you can take but l would be not so meaningful by looking at that we cannot get like l is what length is equal to we can use a function lan and in lan we will pass the variable name name and just print uh, length rather than name we will print this time length this variable so let's just comment out these line to comment out line we use hash symbol in python let's run this now it will ask what is your name i am entering jenny and it is printing length 5 again enter i am entering pyel again 5 let's take another name having different length jia it is printing 4 okay so you can check out this thing and one more thing we can do something like this suppose uh, we have just done this thing hash and here also we have commented commented out everything i am taking simple variable a is equal to 1 b is equal to i am here i am assigning a value like uh, vyansh and i am printing print a and print b so let's run this what it will print 1 and vyansh so any variable you, you variable name you can take no need to uh, tell the data type the a value is 1 so it will print 1 b value is vyansh in the string so it will print b simple okay but see if you want to concatenate these two thing a and b that would give error suppose i am writing a plus b i want to concatenate but it will give error let's run this and see type error it is a type error unsupported operands for plus one operand is int one operand is string so one is int one is string so we cannot concatenate this is type error type error it is not syntax error because in print syntax is same like in plus we have something on the left hand side something on the right hand side syntax is correct but type error is there so it cannot concatenate these thing both should be same like both should be string for concatenation plus can be used to concatenate strings only okay and uh, see in this case it it can be a case like name is equal to input what is your name okay now rather than b is equal to vyansh so at this point of time i am suppose rather than yeah i am taking name name plus b see the difference now let's run this what is your name i am entering my name is 1 now at this time concatenation is possible see 1 and vyansh so name at name we have 1 plus b is string vyansh so it has concatenated but you will say that 1 is integer now at this time how it is possible i have told you when we were we have discussed input function by default input function returns string so whatever you will enter 1 2 3 4 or anything a b c simple a character also a it will consider everything as a string it will return a string so at this point of time this one would be by default this one is a string 
that is why it will not give any error. So, one is a string, we answer the string, so it can concatenate these two things. Okay. I hope you got my point. <laughs>